Welcome back. You with us here on Southern Diaries. A global tech firm, Capgemini, bought iGate in a four billion dollar cash deal last year, and the company has closed out the acquisition with the iGate brand now being completely dissolved. In this exclusive conversation with me, newly appointed India CEO Srinivas Kandula spoke to me about phase two of that integration process. Here's a slice of that. So we started off our integration efforts uh, in July 2015, and we have completed the first phase of integration by December 31st, 2015. So what does it mean that uh, all 33,000 employees of Igate have got absorbed into Capgemini without uh, any redundancy, and uh, all clients are well informed about uh, the integration progress. and capgemini has a wider reach in the market and well present in most of the countries and has much more bigger business so therefore it is natural that uh, i get brand will get subsumed into the capgemini and willingly so and uh, now every i get employee has a capgemini identity but without losing the core of i get so i get was known for its i tops uh, solutions and business and uh, i get was known for its uh, management of efficiencies etc so there is no intention to lose those advantages uh, in this integration so we have uh, importantly focused on those aspects uh, now we are into the second phase of integration where there are certain core processes say that it is enterprise systems whether it is cultural aspects whether it is certain people policies and practices and we are trying to integrate them in the second phase which will be completed by june 30th Uh, after June thirtieth, you will see completely that there is one cap Gemini. Mm. I remember in twenty twelve when uh, the acquisition of uh, Patni happened. There was a lot of concern being raised by employees that uh, there was no visibility in terms of say future roles, compensation, and there was also a little bit of concern being raised by the I Gate employees itself when uh, there was the uh, cap Gemini move happening. Uh, one. is that a natural uh, fallout really of a merger and acquisition and to have those concerns all been addressed in terms of you know both uh, increments and promotions uh, to employees who've come in from the older organization into capgemini right no, it is very natural whenever there is an m and a there'll be a lot of concerns and insecurities in the employees but in the it service industry the concerns definitely will not be from uh the mainstream workforce uh, like software engineers project managers and delivery managers but having said that there would be concerns uh, from the leadership uh, level employees and uh, middle level managers uh, what is going to happen whether our roles are going to be diluted or they are going to be eroded or we are going to be redundant or we will get more opportunities so everybody would want some kind of assurance on the day we sign any amended deal but uh, that won't happen unfortunately uh, but as i said that uh, whenever there is an amended in it services only except five six positions which will have potentiality for redundancy like ceo cfo uh, maybe chro uh, kind of positions but other positions will remain intact and fortunately in our case even in those positions there was no greater redundancy but capgemini being a large company there were enough of opportunities uh, uh, for people uh, to deploy into the other uh, assignments so we have not seen even commenting on 2012 2011 the integration which we had done and uh, even in that opportunity that we didn't declare uh, Mary Redden and CS accept about 12 to 15 people in the leadership positions obviously you can't have two CEOs and two CFOs etc uh, but even uh, the management of that Redden and CS was uh, quite smooth and very professional Management changes across the board are being seen at most tech companies. In this chat that I had with Mindtree, I asked its president and CEO on the elevation of Rostov Ravanan to the top role and what vision 2020 is looking like for the mid-cap IT firm. Here is a slice of that. 